They're elusive, living mostly in the highest elevations of the North Cascades, and there aren't many of them, maybe 20 across the state. But this wolverine, captured for just seconds on a remote camera, will be studied in the state for years. It's just such a rare opportunity, so I, it just felt like, oh, we had better do this. State biologist Dr. Jeff Lewis is like a proud father. You know, who doesn't want to pet this thing? I want to pet this thing. He named the wolverine Bandera after the spot where he was killed trying to cross I-90 just west of the summit in June of 2018. We think he turned out pretty good. The state had him stuffed and is now on display at the Olympia Fish and Wildlife headquarters. Lower in there, Bandera is the first deceased wolverine to be found in the state in more than 20 years. And it almost didn't happen. After reports he had been hit on the freeway, no one could find him. But a little bit later that day, we got a call, enforcement got a call from a sand and gravel company saying, hey, one of our drivers picked up this thing. We think it's a wolverine. And uh, they called me and I said, yeah, grab that. <laughs> State Fish and Wildlife scientists trap, track, and study the nearly endangered species. But having one in the flesh, even though he's no longer living, is valuable for research and education. His carcass is being preserved and studied. As things are changing so fast, we need to be able to be really nimble to learn what we need to know to, to conserve these things more effectively. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.